at uh, Martha Zalazar. Uh, she is a big, strong girl, uh, 230 pounds. And here comes Vonda Ward, 15-0, 14 knockouts. She's a natural athlete, a former basketball star at the University of Tennessee here in the United States of America. She was the 1995 Player of the Year, uh, a professional basketball player in Germany, and then played in Denver in the Professional Women's League in the United States in 96 and 97. And since then, she's been a fighter. She has tremendous power because of her size. She's very aggressive. And she's only been knocked out twice in her career. Neither time in the boxing ring, it was scrambling for basketball on the floor when she banged her head and actually knocked herself out. So that'll give you some idea about the aggressiveness. Look at the body in this woman. She's in tremendous physical condition. She's a tremendous physical specimen. Johnny McLean, the husband of Layla Ali, called her out the other day at the weigh-in, screaming and yelling, hey, you want to fight? Why don't you fight somebody that can fight like Layla? Well, of course, Don King, who is uh, behind Vonda Ward, would love to have Vonda fight Layla Ali, and there would probably be hundreds of thousands of dollars involved for that fight. So that's what we have for you. Uh, we mentioned that there are some 197 countries around the world that are with us, and a special welcome again. Don King has made it possible for all of you in the Persian Gulf and uh, Armed Forces uh, Radio and TV around the world to be able to see and hear this fight. So we welcome you one and all, and glad that you can be with us. Two women, two undefeated fighters, 15-0 and 0 is Vonda Ward, and quite frankly, she's the one that uh, everybody thinks should cruise through Zalazar, because Zalazar was a late fill-in for Valerie Mafoud, who uh, kind of has a history of pulling out of fights, and this was no exception. Jimmy Lennon Jr. is standing by, and while the American network in the United States gets ready, as soon as they're set, we will have our first fight of the evening underway for you. And again, this should be a tremendous night of action. We get a chance to look at the ladies to get the seats warmed up here as they continue to filter in at the beautiful Thomas and Max Center here in Las Vegas, Nevada, the site of uh, University of uh, Nevada, Las Vegas basketball for many, many years. And now here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you. A welcome you to the Thomas and Mack Center here in Las Vegas, Nevada. We have a big night of action in store for you. And we extend a very special welcome to America's military forces joining us on closed circuit television broadcast on U.S. naval ships at sea and 179 countries and territories around the world on military bases. As a token of appreciation to the men and women of the armed services, my pleasure to announce to you that tonight's event is broadcast to them free of charge, courtesy of our promotional team of Don King Productions and Square Ring in association with M&M &M Sports, Caesars Palace, CM Exchange, and our main event fighters, John Ruiz and Roy Jones, Jr. All right, fans, here we go. We have a special attraction coming your way. At this time, we introduce our judges scoring the bout from ringside. All from Las Vegas, Nevada, we have Adelaide Bird, Dick Houck, and C.J. Ross. Presenting our referee in charge of the action, he'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Vic Draculich. All right, fans, here we go. Four two-minute rounds of boxing scheduled in a women's heavyweight special attraction. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black trunks with red trim, she joins us from San Francisco, California. Weighing in at 230 pounds, her record is undefeated at five wins and no losses. Introducing Martha, the Chateau Salazar. And her opponent across the ring, ready to fight on my right out of the red corner. Entering the ring wearing red, white, and blue trunks and joining us from Northfield, Ohio. She weighed in at a ready 179 pounds. She also is undefeated. Her record stands at 15 wins. No losses, 14 big wins coming by way of knockout. Welcome the IBA heavyweight champion known as the All-American Girl, introducing Vonda Ward. Once again, four rounds of action scheduled, two minutes per round. Our referee in charge is Vic Draculich. All right, ladies, this fight is scheduled for six rounds. You've received your instructions in the dressing room. Again, I want to caution you. Any punches below this point can be deemed low. 
Any punches below this point are going to be deemed low. There is a height differential here, so you're going to have to work hard to keep them up. All right? With that, are there any questions? Any questions, Chief Second? All right. Remember, obey my commands. Protect yourselves at all times. Touch them up. Good luck to both of you. All right, so we're set to go with our very first fight of the evening, the beautiful and very, very talented and strong Vonda Ward, a professional athlete in uh, terms of basketball and now a professional athlete in terms of boxing. This is a scheduled four-round fight, two-minute rounds, and Marta Salazar is the opponent. She's big and strong, and let's see how she fares against the tremendous athlete in Vonda Ward. Ward in the red, white, and blue trunks looks a little bit awkward, but uh, big Salazar right in front of her there. Ward pumps with a jab, wild with the right hand is uh, Salazar. Salazar right in front of her. She's beefy and big. They call her the shadow because of the shadow she casts, and it doesn't bother her one bit. She's come in here and she said, if I can beat Vonda Ward, uh, people are going to maybe recognize me a little bit. I'm 5-0, and, oh, and just because I'm big, it doesn't make any difference. I'm an athlete, too. There's the stiff jab by Vonda Ward right in the face, and she is a cut athlete. She is tremendous midsection. She probably... Uh, as conditioned and trained uh, throughout her entire career. She was a former high school basketball player uh, of the year in the United States. She was a uh, college basketball player of the year at uh, Tennessee. And Tennessee, for the sake of you that uh, are watching around the world, you may not know, but Tennessee University in the United States is one of the very best female basketball programs in the world. Big Salazar bangs it with the right hand on the left side of the head, and Ward hasn't felt too much power like that. And last time out in December, Ward won a TKO victory over Kathy Rivers. There's a straight right hand that caught Salazar and kind of took her knees away from him for a second. So there is considerable power by Ward. Six feet, six inches tall. 35 seconds to go in round number one. Salazar felt the power by that right hand. And all that Vonda Ward wants to do is try to take the vision away with the left and catch her with another right hand here. This is a scheduled four-round affair. Let's get things warmed up for you. Coming up next is the IBF Middleweight Championship of the World. It's the Junior Middleweight Championship at 154. Looping right hand surprises Ward. And that's the way Salazar has knocked out five straight opponents that she's faced. Meanwhile, Ward has knocked out 14 of the 15 opponents she's faced. Neither one of these women have lost. Time. Philadelphia is going to be a fighting city on March the 29th. All right, you take a look at Marta Salazar. She, she, she can't hurt you. Take your time. You hear the make corner saying she can't hurt Bang. you. Just make her a miss. Eight Don't let her get those clean shots in. Four rounds, okay? Four rounds. Okay, now you get busy. Vic Dracula uh, informs him because it was originally scheduled at six and they changed it to a four-round affair. Here we go. On to Ward to the left of your screen, the red, white, and blue trunks. And Martha Salazar gets through with the first jab in the uh, round. Ward has a considerable reach advantage. She's got a 78-inch reach. That's big for a lot of male fighters. But again, she's six-six. There's the nice stiff jab that's falling just a bit short, taken on the gloves by Salazar. Salazar would like to hit it with one of those big, powerful shots as she blocks and then goes downstairs, loads up the right hand to the shoulder of Ward. Ward is a very well-conditioned athlete. I mean, her midsection looks like she does about 1,000 push-ups a day, her arms and shoulders. She's got a pretty good idea of what she wants to do. She's a little bit awkward. She's not as good. She reminds me of her style a little bit like perhaps Layla Ali was earlier in Layla's career, but Layla has become much more fluid lately. And of course, the idea would be to get Vonda Ward in the ring with Layla Ali. And Don King knows just how to build up fighters, so that's what he wants to do with Vonda Ward. Meanwhile, Vonda is not having a cakewalk through Martha Salazar, who took this on late uh, notice, but glad to have the opportunity to fight in such a big crowd as this one at the Thomas and Mack Center here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Uppercut, windmill right hand missed by Salazar. 41 seconds to go in the second round in the scheduled four-round affair. The jab just constantly in the face. Ward throws the jab, then the right hand behind it. 
Jab, jab, jab. She's trying to take that vision away from the left eye and then drop the right hand in there. Now Salazar is able to back her off. What a very, very aggressive athlete as a basketball player and trying to be as such as a boxer. In basketball, you don't have people hitting you back unless she was knocked out twice, as I told you, diving for basketball. Wow, winging shots. And now Salazar touches her up and the crowd likes what they see. Closing seconds now of the second round. And while Salazar was able to land a couple of power shots, Ward did all the work and landed most of them. And she's won that round 10-9 in my scorecard. And the judges, by the way, are Adelaide Bird, Dick Houck, and C.J. Ross. And one of the few punches landed in the round was a left hand by Salazar. Watch this. Boom. Punches it right on the nose, and then the right hand looping the right hand behind it. And then at the end of the round, you see she holds her off again. But that, in fact, is about all Salazar did in the entire round. The rest of the time, it was Vonda Ward just keeping that jab pumping in the face and looking for the opportunity to land the right hand. You hear me? You know, don't load up. She's, you know, just use your jab. Okay? Concentrate her overhand right. She's giving that overhand right. She get close to us. Step in. Boom. Boom. Okay? Second down. 230 pounds is Salazar, so she's huffing and puffing. She's had to work very hard. And then Maltby's in upside down. They got it switched around in a hurry. Here we go. Round number three in the scheduled four-rounder. Neither fighter has been visibly shaken. Nobody's marked yet. Ward has been relying on the jab in the early going, and then she'll throw the right hand behind it. And Salazar, they told her in a corner not to load up, but that's really all she can do because she's giving away about 11 inches in reach. I mean, this girl's got a long, long reach, and she's having a hard time getting through her shots. And Ward now wants to pick up the pace, trying to throw shots from all kinds of places. And Salazar shows that she can duck away from a few shots, too. Salazar, the big girl in the uh, fully black trunks with the red trim and in the red, white, and blue is Vonda Ward, who, by the way, is the IBA heavyweight champion. And we got to give Martha Salazar a little bit of credit here because she was a late fill-in, as a matter of fact, just yesterday uh, when uh, Valerie Mahfoud uh, pulled out of the fight. She get over here from San Francisco, made the way in and able to fight tonight. But she's not getting things going her way too much because the ward is just really doing a nice job with the jab. Who's ever coaching her, namely Lorenzo Scott and Stacy Rhea, have done a nice job with her teaching her to throw the jab. As I say that, a sneaky left hand gets through. And Salazar, when she lands the left, it's a punishing left because the nose and the cheekbones are very, very red and uh, almost swollen a bit uh, from the nice stiff jabs that Salazar has got through. As Ward tried to load up his shot, he gets a nice uppercut through. And Salazar doesn't want to give ground. She's right up against the rope and doesn't slide. Instead, she loads up the right hand. Inside of 12 seconds to go in the round. And now Ward begins to score some punches again. Salazar battles back and nails her, puts her back at the heel, and all of a sudden, at the bell, Ward was ready to go. How about that? She's wobbly coming to a stool with blood coming from her nose. I told you. Now listen. That's you can't do that in there. Here it is in the middle of the round where everything is going the Ward's way. Landing shots, a little chopping shot there. And she backs Salazar off into the corner, lands the uppercut. She's doing everything. And then all of a sudden, Salazar nailed her at the end of the round. And watch this. Boom, right there. It bangs her good that time. And she had her wobbles. Now, let's see if Salazar will get very aggressive here and chase her down and see if you can catch up with Ward. By the way, she didn't do enough in that round to steal the round, I don't think. I think the judges will give that round to Ward as well. But let's see what happens. Salazar has a little boost Touch of confidence up, now. Fourth and final round of the fight. And you see the eyes are very puffy of uh, Vonda Ward, who has felt the power of Martha Salazar. And Salazar just wants to get her in. She likes to fight back on the ropes. There's that looping right hand again that got through. There's a noticeable amount of confidence now by Salazar, who's just a real tough cookie. Nothing fancy about her. 
to Clipster again with that left hand. And now you can see the adrenaline flow and the aggressiveness of the athlete in Vonda Ward. He didn't like the fact that she was hitting the instant. He laid his 11 fly. Nothing that will go in the annals of a great Marcus of Queensbury uh, tilt, but I'll tell you, it's interesting. And they are working some kind of hard for you. Martha Salazar trying to get one big shot on the chin of Ward. Ward continues to pump, comes to the uppercut, continues to throw shots. The right hand gets through, and now she pushes up against the ropes. Vic Dracula tries to separate, but they're both leading for the ball. Ward gets nailed with a left hand and a right hand. She's bleeding from the nostrils, and there's a lot of time in women's boxing. There's uh, 47 seconds to go. Salazar a bit gassed, and she's bleeding from the mouth and the nose. Vonda Ward is bleeding from the nose. Loads up the right hand, and it sails past the left shoulder. Both girls are fatigued now, but Salazar is very, very strong. She walks away trying to draw. Vonda Ward towards her. She plants her feet, throws. She really gasped, and Ward just stays right on top of her. That's the competitiveness that's in her. Very aggressive young lady. Salazar wants to get one final big shot in there, but she's running out of time. She gets it through, and she may have water a bit staggered, but the ring is going to, uh, the round is going to run out of time here, and never does Ward stop throwing punches. She's all over Salazar, and there's the bell, ending the fight, and entertaining to say the least. A nice job by Vonda Ward to come back after being hurt at the end of the third round. There she is. Let's look at this from the middle of the round, and Ward is just all over. And you see Salazar try to get that sneaky right hand through there. And Ward just is in tremendous physical condition because she got hit on a couple of occasions, staggered at the end of the third round. And watch Salazar at the very end of the round as she landed another one of those big right hands. But Ward is in such tremendous physical condition, she's able to gobble it up. She's in great shape. That was an entertaining fight. Look at the blood around the lip. Two tough women. Very, very tough, and I give a lot of credit to this girl, Martha Salazar, for coming out and fighting and uh, getting the job done in terms of entertaining the crowd in attendance here. And uh, she took it on very short notice, and she's probably going to lose the fight, but uh, she didn't seem to mind. She got a lot of exposure tonight, and this girl just a tremendous professional athlete in basketball. And look at Ward just handling it with a stiff jab, uppercuts, nails it with the right hand, and she just really has been trained to work off that jab and, and Salazar does get a wild right hand through and catch her and that's what Ward's going to have to work on as her career continues to develop. Well, she has to go the distance this time. Ladies and gentlemen, after an action-filled four rounds of boxing, we have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Adelaide Bird scores about 39 to 37 in favor of Martha Salazar. Judge at ringside, Dick Hauk scores about 39 to 37 in favor of Vonda Ward. Judge at ringside, C.J. Ross sees about 39 to 37 in favor of the winner, the All-American girl, Vonda Ward. Hey, the crowd sort of booing Vonda Ward. They like the game in the mother, the Salazar. When it came to fight, as a matter of fact, so did Adelaide Bird, who scored a 39-37 in favor of Salazar. Evidently, she felt that those heavy blows at Salazar landed were more effective and more punishing, and therefore, all of the punches that Ward threw didn't mean anything, according to Adelaide Bird. But Dick Howe and C.J. Ross saw it the other way, uh, giving Ward the third round in their scorecard, and Salazar, uh, rather Ward, uh, the first uh, uh, two rounds, the third round to Salazar, and then the fourth round to Vonda Ward. So, nonetheless. Dana Kendrick, April Wigington.